G'day everyone, and welcome back to X-Files the game. We are, well, this is episode 2, we're kicking goals, and we've just come back from our first job, which was to go to the motel where Mulder and Scully were staying, where they were last seen. Alright, so next we have to go to the warehouse where we saw in the cutscene where they were. So that was not there, that's where we were. So that will be the Dockside Warehouse is where we're off to. So it's the Crime Lab, Field Office, our place and the Dockside Warehouse. Alright, here we go. Dockside Warehouse, Seattle. And we're rolling up with Skinner. This is good. It would be helpful to have some background on the case your agent was pursuing. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it? When I have some, I'll share it with you. No. Okay. Uh, not binoculars. Lockpick. What's the matter with you? N nothing. Lockpick. I'm gonna pretend you're not doing that. All right. We've now entered a very creepy warehouse. Who knows Why don't what? Why check out the main floor? I'm gonna take a look in there. Who knows what evil will befall us in this creepy warehouse? All right, so. Let's have a bit of a walk around here, see what we can see what we can find. Oh this doesn't look good. Bloodstain. So the, the trick with this game is that you get a few pointers. So, so the, the you know, you walk around and the, the mouse pointer will definitely change when there's something to look at. So here we go. We should have an evidence kit. We get some of that. So someone copped one in a firefight, which is interesting. That'll obviously get sent out to I found blood. Someone got shot. Mm. Alright. You see the mouse has turned to an eye again, so there must be something here. Hmm. Bullet. Alright. I'll grab that bullet, because that's good old fashioned evidence. Let's keep roaming around. Oh, what do we got down here? Oh, a cigarette butt. You and anyone familiar with the X-Files knows cigarette butts mean one person and one person only. I'd wager I'd wager some money that's a Molly! memory serves me our old mate smokes some mornings anyway hmm. 
Alright. Office in here, let's get our torch out. Oh! Something over there to look at. Cupboard. Right, so we've got here. Do -do -do. Oh, telephone, nice. Creepy cupboard. Alright, cool. We'll pick something up here, so we'll do that. Hmm. That might be useful. Head back downstairs, so we. Ah, Skinner. Oh, this phone is DOA. Cool. Let's go through our talking Why would options. Mulder and Scully have called this location? I'm not sure, but it's the best lead we've got. That blood is troubling. It doesn't look very good, does it? Let's have it analyzed and know it belongs to someone else. The bullet passed through. The victim may only have been injured. That's assuming they were only shot once. But I appreciate your optimism, Agent Wilmore. If they were killed, where are the bodies? I doubt the killers would leave the bodies of two federal agents lying here for us to find. Mm -hmm. If they're dead, we'll probably never find them. Let's just hope that's not the case. Now, if we delay any longer, we'll be lucky to find anything. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? Popular brand. Hmm. He knows more than he's letting on there. I'll let some DNA tests run on the blood. I'll take a sample of the side crime lab in DC and have it analyzed. Alright, cool. Let's see what else we've got out here. Ooh, crates. Hmm. Look like old mate can open it. So let's try ye oldie crowbar, see how that goes. It'll be a bit of fun. Let's see if we can pry it open, see what's inside these mysterious wooden crates all right what do we got here hmm black powder do, 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 do. Oh. let's get some of that out see what the lab says about that So the new season of the X Files is back on, which is should be back on the, day, the next day or two, which is awesome. So yeah, looking forward to watching it. Um, What do you think about that? I don't know, but I suggest you minimize your contact with it until we have it analyzed. We've asked everything about 
all. Alright, so we've asked, uh, we've asked all the other questions. Uh, Set out the back door. Whoa, what do we got here? A boat and a creepy looking dude. Alright. We should, we should badge old mate here. Agent Wilmore, FBI. Like to ask you a few questions. We do have to badge people. What have we got here? Some creepy looking fisherman dude. Very, I know what you did last summer. This guy. All right. What's your name? James Wong. Hmm. James Wong. Interesting name. What can you tell me about that warehouse? much. It's a warehouse. I don't know, I just dock here. Yeah, they used to haul a lot of cargo in and out of there. Armed guards sometimes. Uh, lately it's been pretty quiet, which ain't too surprising, considering what's been going on around here. So what exactly is that? Fish been drying up. Mmm. Have you noticed any unusual activity? Not really, just the fact the warehouse has been a lot quieter than usual. You've been here this last week? Pretty much. You haven't seen or heard anything unusual? No, I try to get home by dusk, see my family. Mm. Tell me about your family. Why? Mm. Curious. Just want to know about your family, that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wife, little girl. How old's your daughter? Seven. Young for a man your age. I'm surprised. Mm. I eat a lot of fish. Is your wife younger than you? Mm. Young enough to have a seven-year-old. How long have you been in this country? My accent give it away, huh? Ten, eleven years, maybe. Where are you from, Mr. Wong? Mm. China. I left Canton in 1985. Mm, very good. So what's happened to the fishing? I don't know, but it's getting bad. Some folks say it's from overfishing. How long has this been going on? Long enough for a lot of guys to move on. Can't make ends meet. I'm thinking about it myself. Mm. Can I get a cigarette from you? Sorry, I don't smoke. Gives you cancer. Don't you watch the news? Mm hmm. Does this look familiar to you? No. What is it? Why don't you let me ask the questions? Mm hmm. Any reason why we'd find blood in that warehouse? Mm hmm. No. Uh, industrial accident, maybe. I don't know. Mm hmm. All right. Well, we've asked him all the questions, so there's nothing much more we can find out from him. So let's head back and see if we can't meet Skinner. Now, we can get around, we can get around the side. Ooh. That sedan's been following us since we left the field office. Who do you think it is? Someone who's interested in what we're doing. What should we do about that car? I think that's your call, Agent Wilmore. Do you think they know about Mulder and Scully? It's possible. Why don't you go ask them? All right, I shall.
get some photos of the car. Beautiful. Alright. Well, let's head to... I think we've pretty much done everything we can here. I'm going to wander back over. Nothing to talk about there. Alright, let's head for... Crime Lab, booking all this beautiful evidence we have. Alright, here's our friend in the Crime hey, Lab. Mr. Wilmore. Good to see you. It's been a while. Hey, John, how have you been? Bored. I hope you have something real exciting for me. I do my best. So, what have you got? Yeah. So this is John Amos, the dude from the. What's this blood? Very good. You got a target to match it to? I can tell you the blood type, but without a target for a DNA test, there's not much I can do. What's the case? A couple of missing FBI agents. We think the blood may belong to one of them. That's too bad. I suggest you have the Psy Crime Lab in DC run it. They could probably match it against the uh, current agent database pretty quickly. Should ask the. You working on anything good? Nope. It's been very slow. I count on you FBI guys to keep my life interesting. <laughs> oh, you might begin to do that. How's your wife? X, you mean? She's good. She's taking the kids to her mom's for Easter. Yours? My wife? No, your ex-kids. Yeah, your wife. <laughs> good, I guess. We haven't really spoken in a while. Hey, don't you owe me a dollar? <laughs> From what, that basketball game? No way, that crooked partner of yours cheated. Cook? He never cheated a day in his life. Don't hold your breath over that buck. The boys in the crime lab are officially protesting. <laughs> All right, crooked basketball game, nice. One slug. Looks like a 38. It's not in very good shape. Standard stuff, I guess? Oh, uh, yeah, I dug it out of a hunk of wood. You got it. Cool. No thanks, I'm trying to quit. That's very funny. Thank you. One Morley cigarette butt. I'll give it the once over. Very good. And now, uh, mysterious black powder. What have we here? You're going to have to do better than this. I can tell you right now what this is. It's industrial grade lead. Lead? Yeah. Why lead? I don't know. It's uh, used for anything from weighing scuba divers to lining x-ray vests. Pretty common stuff. Is there any reason why someone would treat this like contraband? Nope. It's neither illegal nor sexy. There's no reason why anybody should want or need to smuggle it anywhere. Hmm. Very interesting. All right. Well, we've done everything we can here. Let's head back to the field office. All right, see what's going on. All right, old mate Skinner. Why were we being followed? I don't know, but whoever's involved in this case isn't afraid of the FBI. There could be an underworld connection. Mm. You think the blood belongs to one of your agents? I can't rule it out. But I'll wait for the test results before making a determination. I suggest you do the same, Agent Wilmore. I could run a DNA test on the saliva on that cigarette. Oh, that's a bit of a stretch, Agent Wilmore. I wouldn't waste my time. <laughs> he knows exactly that we wouldn't find anything. Is there any connection with the decline in fishing? I don't see any obvious connection. 
sport fishing isn't a federal offense. Should be. You think Wong is involved? I don't know. Did you get the sense that he knew more than he was telling you? Mm. He's definitely hiding something. What do you think that powdered lead is being used for? I don't know. That one has me really stumped. It could be a byproduct of weapons manufacture. I suggest you conduct a little research. Mm. A.D. Skinner, you've got a call on line one. Mm -hmm. This is Skinner. I understand. I have to go back to Washington immediately. I'll take some of the blood back to the lab in D.C. for analysis. I want you to be in surveillance on that warehouse tonight. These two agents are very important to me. All right. Das Plotten Thickenen. Let's go back to our office and... See what's going on. Hey pal, how's it going out there? He's, he's I'm sure you're sucking up to Skinner appropriately. Creepy partner. It's going good. Cool. What's Skinner like? He's all right. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Hey, listen. If you need anything, you just let me know, okay? Thanks, man. What's with the laptop? No, oh, Scully's. It's password protected. You want me to call Computer Crimes Division and see what they can do? Sure. You got it. No problem. Hmm. Aren't we a little eager? Don't trust that guy. Don't know why, but I don't trust him. Hmm. All right. Let's do a few checks on our old mate Jimmy Wong. Uh, sh uh, Shiloh. Ah. Uh. All right, good. Intelligence Network Database Gateway. All right, type in Wong. See if we get any Jimmy. Ooh, Jimmy Wong. Here we go. Tenth of. Uh, so that'd be the fourth of the tenth. Forty-eight. Hmm. Born Houston, Texas, not Korea. Military service, 65 to 66. Army dishonorably discharged after it was discovered he lied about age to enter the service. 68 assault in Chicago. Charges dropped. 72 robbery in Pass, New York. Convicted, so six months in Dane Morris State Penitentiary. Hmm. 76 armed robbery in Pittsburgh. Charges dropped. Prose possession of stolen property in 83 in Los Angeles. Mistrial. 88. Possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute in San, intent to distribute in San Fran. 18 months in San Quentin. 91. Possession of stolen property in Seattle. Charges dropped. 95. Possession of, a st of stolen property in Seattle. Mistrial. Okay. This guy is about as dirty as they get. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright. So. Hmm. Thing is, he's got a criminal record. We'll just do a bit more of a search. And I know, you get the same. Hmm. Uh. 
I'll just send that to send that to Skinner just for just in case. Uh, all right, let's have a look into that sedan. Download some photos. All right. Really? Oh. So we've got a slightly clearer. We can't actually. Hmm. What does that say? Too. F oh, it's really crappy. Um. Right. E. Can't tell from that one. Like 240E something or other. Hmm. Let's try this. Error restricted data. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Restricted data. All right. Well. How long have we been? All right, let's see. Okay, so we have to go and do. Let's exit the computer. Time to go and do surveillance, I guess. Probably do a bit of a save here too. The bloke's doing some shifty. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick save. do a quick save up here all right let's go uh, Getting stuff out of the floor. Interesting. Wonder what they had hidden under there. Putting it in a big hmm, creepy metal chest, nice.
crud. <laughs> Little bit lost in the warehouse at the moment. Let's examine their creepy little compartment here. Can't do evidence on that. All right. Well, let's just move away from that spot in the. Let's see if PDF... You have mail. Ooh. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can travel home now. Yep, beautiful. for divorce. Ah. It's no good. It looks like we're getting... Yes. Okay. Oh, we've got to sign it. Yeah. Oh, last call. Thank you for your submission. Unfortunately, you did not meet the present requirements. Not quite for us. Too slow in places. Yeah, so we made a... We've written a... Um, your story was read by Otis It did not meet our requirements due to one or... Nice call. Rise. Appropriate word count in the upper right hand. Mm, okay. Okay, we could read that if we were thusly keen, but we won't. Uh, uh, that's the one we just looked at. I'm guessing there's nothing else there for us to look at. Awesome. Um, Journal. Mm, very good. Okay. Mm. Wardrobe. 
Mm, yes. G Man ties, very good. Alright, well. Okay, so our mate's a fan of the Ramones. Can't complain about that. And let's sack out. All right, well, I'm going to leave this episode here, folks. I want to thank you very much for joining us. If you... I want to see what this phone call's about. Oh, that was our alarm. All right, I'm going to save here. I want to... I want to thank you all for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video and want to see other videos, Seven Days to Die, This is the Police, and a couple other things we've got coming, please hit the no subscribe and notification icon so you get notified of when there are new videos. And comments, please feel free as always to leave comments about tips, tricks, anything else you want to feedback, support. Yeah, we have a great community and I love interacting with you folks. Anywho, thanks again for joining us. Until next time in the Throwback Thursday series. <laughs> Laters.